Hi, my name is Lana, and I'm from Messiah Lutheran on Skidaway Island in Savannah, Georgia. Today's devotional is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew 4. But Jesus answered, It is written in Deuteronomy, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Bread is a sustenance for our culture and for many. And I have a good memory of bread in my childhood when my brothers and I would look forward to Saturday mornings on the farm. And we would hear or hear our grandma and mom making bread in the kitchen. And then we'd smell that wonderful smell of baked bread. And we'd wait for the, uh, for the time when we could run in and get a fresh slice of that bread with melted butter and jam. And the memory and the taste of that is still very clear for me. It was so wonderful. And I realized that that was a gift of love from grandma and mom and uh, free, so freely given to us. And Jesus is telling us more about this importance of bread in our life in the Gospel of John, when he tells us that he says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Next week is Holy Week, when we journey with our Lord, our Lord Jesus, to the cross. And we remember the Paschal meal that he shared with his disciples. When he took, up, took the bread, he gave thanks to God, he broke it, and then he lifted a piece and he said, This is my body given for you. And he lifted the chalice and he said, a chalice of wine, and he said, This is my blood shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. It's important that we focus on that Jesus said that this is for you and that it is for the forgiveness of sins. Remember that where there is forgiveness of sins, Jesus promises life and salvation out of his great love for us. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for our daily bread and for the gift of spiritual food from our Lord Jesus. Open our hearts to receive your love and life and forgiveness. Amen.